Hey guys, welcome back to Tried, Tested, and True Instant Pot Cooking, where I share with you instant pot inspirations and ways to feel confident using your instant pot. I'm Lisa Childs, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make country style ribs in your instant pot. So country style ribs actually aren't spare ribs. They come from a totally different part of the animal, but they're still so good. They have a lot of the same textures and the same flavors, and they're usually a lot cheaper. So it's a really good alternative. So this recipe only uses four ingredients and you can change whatever ingredient you want to. So it's very flexible, which is what I love about it. For this recipe, you will need four pounds of country style ribs, three tablespoons of your favorite rib or rub seasoning, half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce, and a little bit more if you're going to baste them after cooking, and three-fourths cup of your favorite dark soda. So you can use Coke, Dr. Pepper, root beer, anything that's really dark and has a lot of sugar in it. All you have to do is add your country style ribs into the Instant Pot. Sprinkle it with a little bit of that barbecue seasoning. And if you don't have a favorite store-bought kind, you can totally just use the recipe that I have on my website, trytestedandtrue.com, and then add your barbecue sauce and the soda. Just kind of use some tongs and mix it up really well. It doesn't have to be like super coated, but it's nice to just toss them up. Also, another thing to mention with this recipe is that you don't need four pounds. You can just use however many ribs that you want and just adjust the seasonings as necessary. After all of your ingredients are combined in the Instant Pot, just close that lid, turn the knob from venting to sealing, and then we're going to press the pressure cook or manual button or the meat slash stew setting and set it for 35 minutes. After the 35 minutes, let it naturally release the pressure for at least 15 minutes, and then you can open up that lid and your ribs are done. You can eat them just like this if you like. I personally like to take the ribs, put them on a foil lined baking sheet, baste them with a little bit extra barbecue sauce, and then broil them for about three to five minutes or until they get just a little bit caramelized on top. They have such good flavor that way. Once you get comfortable knowing how to make the ribs with the barbecue sauce and the barbecue seasoning and the coke, try and use whatever seasonings you like. I've also made these kind of an Asian style with teriyaki sauce, some garlic, some ginger, some brown sugar, soy sauce, and they are so good. If you like this recipe, a good side dish would be some Instant Pot baked potatoes or some Instant Pot broccoli or rice. So check out all those videos on my channel next. See ya!